guys, Rachel CPR here. Today I wanted to share with you another DIY palette organizer. And these things are all available at the Dollar Tree. And for the most part, they are not anything that's in short supply at the Dollar Tree. We know that with the last organizer that I uploaded, um, the plates that I use to decorate it, they are only stocked in the fall of the year. So if you're going in store trying to find those now, you can find one or two when you go into the stores, but generally speaking, they're not stocked all year long. So whatever you're finding now is just left over from last year's stock from October to December is usually when they carry them. So if you find them now, that's why you're finding them. They're not really being restocked right now, according to what I've learned from the people at Dollar Tree, as well as from the comments on that video. And I will link that video somewhere around here, either in the description box or in an iCard, okay? So again, the palettes that I'm, the palette organizers that I'm making today, they are everything that I used. It's just easy to find at the dollar store. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay. So for this project, it's very, very simple and quick. What you need are picture frames from the Dollar Tree. I have three seven by fives, and then I have one six by four and two eight by tens and then I have my adhesive glue I have my glue gun so these are all the things that you'll need and we'll get started now okay so for this project what you want to do is take the two largest picture frames and snugly place them inside of each other nice and evenly I'm using both the hot glue and the liquid glue for this project the liquid glue dries a lot more clearer than the hot glue, but even though it dries more clear, I was still able to detect it after my project completely dried. So I do wish that I put it in the seams instead of right in the middle. So when you do this, don't do what I just did. Put it more close to the seams of your project and that'll just make it a lot better. It is hidden with the palettes, but just a little FYI. So then I go on to the medium sized picture frames and those go up the middle and you can arrange these however you'd like to arrange them. It's up to you. You can do larger spaces, you can do smaller spaces. However you want your palettes to stay inside of them is what you do. I put a smaller picture frame in the front of my palette holder so that it would just have a little bit of a different look and that worked out for me. But you, of course, can do whatever you'd like to do. And I use the very same process to glue this together. I use the liquid glue and I use the hot glue. Sorry, that was my baby leaving the room. <laughs> It starts to look a little um, messy with the glue at this point, but once it dries completely, you don't really see it this much at all. Even though you can detect it, you don't see it as much as you see it in this clip here. And again, once you get to the end pieces, you want to make sure that you really take the time to line up the picture frames so that they're not overhanging. And that was it. As you can see in the front, I didn't do a very good job with removing that sticker. So I decided to add some Heidi Swap hearts to the front picture frame so that it kind of camouflages it. And these were chipboard stickers so they stood out a little bit more and I think that that camouflaged it a lot better so that it wasn't so obvious. <laughs> and this is the finished product without the palettes in it and it, I really love the way it came out. It's very very sturdy. If you use the larger picture frames it is not as sturdy and that's why I chose to use the medium sized ones. I hope you like it. 
For this next project, you'll need at least six of these napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. And this is going to have the same kind of a base as the lipstick holder that I shared before. I will link that in the description box and in, and, and in an iCard. And you will be needing tape and your glue gun. And that's it. And if you'd like to fancy it up a little bit, a little bit of bling trim will be good as well. That's it. So the first thing you do is you take two of your napkin holders, remove all of the paper and everything like that, and you tape them together one top to the other. And when you're taping it, you want to make sure that the edges are very close together. And then you use the warmth of your hand to really melt the tape into the little grooves that are on the napkin holders. And you do it on both sides. And again, just making sure that they, there is absolutely no gap in between the two napkin holders. And then you just take a little reinforcement strip and put it on the inside to make sure that the connection is very strong. And then you do that three more times if you have six of the napkin holders. You'll see here I am putting some glue on top of this layer because that is going to be my traction for my palettes. And that's what I'm just putting in between each layer. It just adds a little rubbery effect that makes it so that the palettes do not slip around. And then you just glue each layer one to the other. You see I already started adding my, my fancy trim to the edges at the connections. But that's definitely an option. You don't have to do that at all. You can leave it plain and it still looks great. And that's it. This one was super, super easy. I hope you like these two palette organizers. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.